morning. All right, so today is my one week anniversary here in Guadalajara. There's my house. <laughs> I had my beautiful friend Stacy staying with me for the first week, which was amazing. And now I'm officially on my own in this big city of about 5 million people. So today I am taking myself on a self-guided historical walk. Found a map online, I'm gonna go grab a coffee. I'm super excited and I really just love learning like the history and the backstory and everything that's happened. So um, I hope you enjoy learning as I learn and let's go. Okay guys, I'm caffeinated kind of and there's a dinosaur <laughs> and I'm at Plaza de la Libertacion. Libertacion. I'll have to learn how to say that of course. And look at this. absolutely stunning. I'm going to head over to the Guadalajara sign and then I'm going to start my walking tour at the Plaza Guadalajara. It's on the like not important list but that's where the walking tour starts so I figure why not? Why not start there? Everywhere is worth seeing at the very least and learning about. Oh but look at this. I've just walked through past the cathedral there. I actually didn't realize how connected everything is. So on the map, it looks quite large and spread out. And I thought these buildings were all gonna be like two, three, four blocks apart, but they're not, they're all together. So there is, there it is, the cathedral. And then right here is um, Plaza de Armas, Armas, I think. Um, my Spanish is, my Spanish is getting there. And then years ago so that's why he's Carlos V he was the king of Castilla king of Leon and king of Aragon
to be an orphanage. I'll include more details in writing, but the murals alone I could spend weeks just staring at. And it's so quiet while it's Sunday, so by far the best building so far.